you're watching Agenda and today we are coming to you from Terry University which is at the center of a major story the story of one woman's fight against sexual harassment that perpetrated by someone who's seen as very influential and powerful we will be speaking to a lot of the people who are now coming out in her support and what has been uh, a fight by herself has now taken on a lot of momentum a lot of students of Terry University a lot of alumni coming out in her support we'll be speaking to them also joining us Indira Jai Singh a noted lawyer someone who's handled some of the uh, groundbreaking sexual harassment cases and also we have Rajiv Seth the vice chancellor in term of the university who will talk to us about how he is handling all these student protests that are rallying but first what's happened in court today the court has reserved its add on order on cancellation of rk pachauri's bail however my colleague siddharth pande spoke to rk pachauri's lawyer who has completely dismissed the new complainant who has come up in this case let's hear what he had to say she is not another complainant on your television this channel and tv she appeared in july also a day before my crucial hearing in july now again a day before this crucial hearing she appeared where is the allegation the allegation is on television not on paper not with the police not with the court we are like it's laughable it to even to respond to so that's what ashish dikshit had to say that's rk pachauri's lawyer completely dismissing the new person who has now come up and said that she faces the same kind of sexual harassment but really the story is now about how one woman's fight who had to quit terry has now found an echo among other students and we also have sunil gupta he is one of the signatories of those letters also a terry university alumni uh, we have uh, two people joining us we have smita another signatory who joins us on the phone line and we have one of the other signatories in studio as well we'll be speaking to all of them but really first of all if we can just ask rajiv said now we've seen all these people a lot of your students current ones they have all said that they cannot accept someone like rk pachauri giving them their degrees on the 7th of march you have responded by saying he has now gone on leave but many are asking sir is that enough you yeah, do remember that he has gone on leave from terry university he's on leave from terry university uh, he uh, remains the chancellor of terry university as per the directives or the decision of the governing council the governing council of terry actually appoints the chancellor do also remember that the chancellor is not the one who is uh, dealing with the academic affairs of any university so as far as the academic aspects of the terry university go i think they continue and we continue in the same manner in which we were continuing earlier okay so indira jai singh if i can you heard what rajiv said said as a, you know when we were speaking to the complainant to ask her about her reaction that Uh, so many others have now come up and are supporting her a lot of students like sunil have come out uh, what do you think of what the what rajiv seth has to say uh, there are two issues here one is a legal issue and the other is the moral issue uh, let me take up the ethical and moral issue first so regardless of whether the chancellor gets involved with academics or teachers or not he symbolizes the university and uh, the issue is whether a person who is facing a charge of sexual harassment can be a role model can symbolize academia can symbolize the fact that this is a place of learning and in my opinion uh, that cannot happen so by virtue of the fact that he is facing serious charges of sexual harassment he should resign from the position of chancellor the issue is not whether he comes into contact with students the issue is the moral authority that he exercises in relation to this university the second issue is a legal issue you know the root of all problems that this survivor has faced is the voluntarism that we see voluntarily going on leave as executive uh, director voluntarily going away the fact is that he has never been disciplined and the issue is why did the board of governors of terry not take disciplinary action against him it's no answer to say that the finding that the findings of the internal 
complaints committee have been stayed, he was given a full 10 days to approach the court between the period when he was found guilty of sexual harassment and the date on which he got an ex parte order. What was the board doing during that period is the big question. Secondly, no court has prevented the management of Terry from taking disciplinary action against him or simply suspending him. I fail to understand why he has not been suspended. I think that is a critical issue. There is a lack of will to take any form of disciplinary action against him and considering the charges are serious, I find this very unacceptable. Because uh, also one of your, especially because I know that you said that Teddy as an organization, some of the issues that Indira Jessing was raising over there, you said that you are part of the university and the university is totally different. But one of your students who's in the final year, who's raised one of these petitions, wanted me to ask you that had some meritorious student done this and disciplinary action committee found him guilty, would he be elevated to the post of student president of the student union? This is one of your students asking you, feeling completely distraught at what was happening? Um, <clears throat> I would fully agree. No, I don't think a student uh, would be elevated to any position like that if he was found guilty. But then that is a, a matter for the university to take. And let me tell you that in the Terry University, there is a lot of stress laid on discipline, on ethics, and on the way we function in our lives. Uh, we uh, do a lot of... Uh, but sir, are you able to make him feel accountable? Uh, Dr. Pachori? Yes. Uh, well, you know, I think this is the uh, the governing council of Terry to take a call on this. And they have... Do you accept what Indira Jaising was saying as the whole, how it's all been voluntary, that now again he's voluntarily taken leave, which may not be appropriate. It's for someone else to decide, for the courts to decide, or someone else to decide. Well, taking leave is an interim solution. It's not the final solution, obviously. Okay. Sunil Gupta, you're one of the people who have been protesting. You are due to get your degree, and you have all protested, saying that we don't want a degree from him. He's gone on leave now. You've heard what Rajiv said. It said, what do you, would you like to say to him? Yeah. So I would want to make a statement. When IPCC gave no leeway and Dr. Pachori had to resign from chairmanship, of IPCC, what is the rationale of Terry University Board of Management of keeping Dr. Pachori in any capacity whatsoever? Secondly, I condemn Terry Governing Council, Council appointment of to a new position, the uh, Vice Ch Chairman, Executive Vice Chairman. I don't understand, I, and I fail to understand as an institution how, what example are we setting? And you know, I just wanted to po point out, uh, Sunil, that you are, you have, you have come out over there. But a lot of the other alumni people who have passed out, who are now with us on the phone line as well. If I can go to a complainant N, and there's also Smita. She said that we can use her first name, and we also have a complainant, uh, one of the alumni people who's there in studio. So. Uh, the one who is in studio, explain to us uh, why you felt it important to take a stand and yet there is, a, there is still fear of coming out totally in the open. Okay, um, so uh, as ex Terry University students and as also people who are uh, positioned in very prestigious institutions around the world, uh, I think this is a matter of grave concern to us. Um, and we, you know, this is also very important to us because we associate ourselves with Terry ve pretty closely. All the time we are, we are telling people that, you know, uh, we belong to Terry University, we belong to an institute which is known for its work in this field. And then uh, to see that, you know, Terry is going through this phase uh, when it takes a decision which is completely uh, jeopardizing its repute nationally as, as well as internationally is really uh, unacceptable to us. As ex-students, we are also stakeholders, uh, you know, for what the institute does, what the university does as well. Uh, second, uh, you know, point is that we are also protesting about this entire unethical aspect of it, that why an accused feels uh, comfortable enough to join back 
in a in the senior most position whereas the victim or the so called victim feels uh, you know sort of uh, compelled to leave the organization yeah. can i just interrupt you once to briefly ask very quickly ask indira jaising that you know the lawyers completely dismissed uh, all the new voices coming up but do they have ma'am will they make a difference legally uh each individual complaint is a separate and distinct offense and there's a real possibility that dr pachori will face not just one uh allegation of sexual harassment not just one fir but several firs so uh it, of course the dismissal comes from an interested party and i think it should be discounted uh the 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 fact is that uh, there was and is a hostile working environment in terry and i think uh, somebody should look just take the fact that the internal complaints committee which gave a report against dr pachori has been disbanded can somebody explain why this was done uh, what does it mean it means that the minute you uh raise your voice or put the facts on the table which are oh, inconvenient to you you can be simply dismissed yeah. uh, there is ma'am you know this internal committee i wish we could put that exactly. question I, i wish we could put that to rk pachori's lawyer but uh, you know they've now refused they've completely shut down and they're not speaking at all or responding to the media apart from what happened in court we'll take a short break now when we come back we'll hear from two new people two new people who've joined the campaign of this fight that the students have started we'll speak to them just a short bit stay with us